So there I was, sitting outside my 1984 single-wide trailer house. It was the middle of June, mid-afternoon, summer in Idaho. The sun was beating down. We had our camp trailer, which was an old camp trailer. It was like 1970-something model camp trailer. It was a faded green and white paint, you know, parked there outside our trailer house. It was half full of camping gear and food. And we're kind of going, my wife is in the, in the single-wide trailer house, you know, packing stuff up we're getting ready to go on a camping trip uh, with the family and as I'm going through this whole process some family members stop by to visit and say hello so I've got my grandfather he's like 93 years old he's there I've got myself my aunt and uncle and I've got my trucks getting hooked up to the trailer and we're conversing and you know just talking back and forth and all of a sudden my aunt says she says Paul I can't believe your wife puts up with this and I said, puts up with what? And right at that moment in time, she points over to my single wide trailer house and she says, puts up with you keeping your family cramped in this tiny little shack. And right at that moment, I felt defeated. I felt crushed that my family member would say something so ruthless and literally so heartless, right? To make fun of my home that I was working for, that I was going to a job every day and, you know, paying a payment on a single, yeah, it was a single wide mobile home, but you know what? It was my home, right? Why would my aunt say something like that? Well, the point of the story is it doesn't matter why she would say something like that. I actually learned four things that I want to share with you that are completely changing the way I look at network marketing and I look at my home-based business. And these are four lessons that I actually gathered from the man himself, Jesus, in the New Testament as I've been studying the New Testament. And here's one recommendation I want to give to you. Even if you're not Christian, I encourage you to read this book, uh, at least the book of Matthew, because so far I'm getting so many lessons and so many nuggets from this book that apply to network marketing. You might be saying, well, what, what are the lessons? All right, lesson number one that I want to share with you right now is there's a point in the story where Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says, you know, you're going to go to cities and you're going to preach the message to certain types of people and there will be people that don't receive the message and there will be people that are mean to you, that say hurtful things to you. And you know what he said? Here's the advice. He said, as you're leaving the city, pull off your shoes and, wipe, and, and, and shake the dust off of your off of your feet shake the dust off of your shoes and that's what he said and so i read this in the in the in the in the new testament and i and i said to myself what does this mean right it means when people to me anyway it means when people say hurtful things you want to take off your shoes because when, when they say hurtful things sometimes they leave a residue right they leave dust on your feet and you might walk away from that person but you've still got the dust you've still got the the feeling of hurt the feeling of disappointment that came to you when they said that hurtful thing well according to jesus when that stuff happens not if but when it happens as you're building your dream you want to take your shoes off just pound them together and then just shake off that residue and let it fall to the ground and put your shoes on fresh and clean, right, with no residue, ready to march forward into your better future, and you just keep stepping toward your dream, right? That's lesson number one, how to handle the critics. Now, the other four lessons came as I was studying this morning the parable of the sower. This parable is incredible as it relates to network marketing and home-based business, right? So the story goes, there's a sower who's sowing seeds, right? If you can imagine maybe a gardener or a farmer is planting seeds, right? And Jesus tells this story and he says, basically what happens is the first set of seeds fall by the wayside and the birds come and, and pick the seeds up and carry them away. What's the wayside? The wayside is just the side of a road or the side of a path. So the birds come and pick up the seeds. And as we're out there sowing our message, sending our emails, making our videos, connecting with people, asking the right questions, we're sowing the message, right? Some of those seeds will be taken up. And then what's going to happen is the 
birds are going to get the seeds, right? And what do I, what, what's, what's the bird? Well, have you ever had someone join your team and they told you, I'm going to do this, Paul, or, you know, I, I'm committed. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And then something happens where they get distracted, where maybe they see a shiny ball. They see another business. You know what I'm going to say when that happens? The birds got them, right? Don't be surprised. The birds got them. The birds flew down and picked up the seed and flew away with it. That's called distraction when the birds get the seeds. That's just going to happen. It's par for the course, right? Jim Rohn says, don't ask why. Just say that's the way it is, and you keep marching toward your dream. That's category number one. The birds get the seed. Second category, uh, Jesus says, some of the seeds are going to fall on rocky ground and they're not going to take root. And when the sun comes out, it's going to scorch the seeds. And the seeds are not going to bear fruit, right? What is this in network marketing? Well, I look at a seed landing on rocky ground. It's almost like, you know, we bring people into this business and we tell them, you got to read, you got to use your mind, you got to listen to audios, you got you to gotta plant your roots down deep in the earth so that when the sun comes out, you know what's happening and you're not gonna be scorched by it because sometimes it's hot in network marketing. Sometimes it's hot in home business, isn't it? Sometimes, you know, we're out there working and things aren't always hunky-dory. It's like we're in the desert and sometimes we're thirsty and maybe things aren't going the right way. That's the sun coming out. And if we don't have our roots planted down deep in the earth, if we have not been reading, listening to audios, showing up to the company events and the conference calls, we will have no roots and the sun is going to scorch the seed. It's going to happen. Some people, it's just going to happen to, right? That's category number two or lesson number three. Uh, category number three in the, the parable of the sower is the, the, the third type of seed falls into the ground and it starts to grow, but then there are other plants that are thorny weeds. And the scripture says the thorny weeds choke the plant and kill it, right? What are we talking about here in network marketing? Well, have you ever had the experience where somebody said you couldn't do what you set out to do, or maybe somebody laughed at your dream when you said, I'm going to go forth and I'm going to be free and I'm going to be the best that I can to build a business and have a life and live my dreams. And, and someone laughs at you and someone criticizes you. That's like the thorn, right? That grows out of the ground and pulls the seeds down. And you know what? Sometimes the thorns will get some of our team members, right? But the fourth kind that I'm really excited about is the kind of seed that lands in the soil. It gets the water and the sunshine in the proper mix. It gets the fertilizer and it sends its roots down deep in the earth and it produces a great crop. And the parable of the sower, my friend, seems to be saying to me, that as long as we're out there sowing, as long as we're doing everything that we need to be doing on a daily basis, we're producing content, we're telling others, we're growing ourselves uh, mentally and, and physically and spiritually, right? As long as we're doing these things and we're sowing, we will find those seeds that take root deep in the earth and we will, my friends, build a life of freedom. We will, my friends, build a life of abundance, prosperity, health, wealth. We'll build a life of significance and sophistication if that's what we want. We'll build lives of influence right through this parable of the sower. So these are four lessons, my friend. Shake the dust off of your feet. Be aware of the four types of terrain that the seeds are going to land on. Don't be surprised by it. Just know that that's the way it's going to be. It's been that way for, you know, according to the Bible, 2,000 years. Probably not going to change, right? As Jim Rohn says, look at the history and you, and you gather up the past and invest it in the future. So my friend, hopefully through this video, you've been able to gather up some of the lessons of the past so that you can invest it in your future freedom. This is Paul Hedgings with PipelineMoney.com. Thanks for watching this video. If you got some value, like, comment, share down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And whatever you do, my friend, never give up on your dreams. I'm on a mission, I got to tell you before you go, I'm on a mission to free 100 families a year. My good friend, business partner, Mike Hobbs and I, along with our team, what's our team? Pipeline Prosperity Alliance. What are we on a mission to do? Oh, no, I got the shirt. I got the shirt. Freedom 100, right? Free 100 families a year. That's what our vision is. That's what we're working towards. 
That's what we're uh, believing in. And I believe, my friend, we can do it. And if you would like to see our plan, and if you would like to see how maybe you just might be able to be one of the next 100, make sure you visit my website, pipelinemoney.com. Opt in. You'll see our system. And you're going to get some amazing updates content, traffic strategies, uh, lead generation strategies, mindset strategies, things that can help you in any business you're in and really can help you in life in general. So go to my website, pipelinemoney.com. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day and bye for now. How's everybody doing tonight? What do you do? You get up again and you keep fighting, right? And you win your freedom no matter what, no matter what. Because I'd rather die with the integrity of having fought for my dreams than live with the disgrace of looking in the mirror at a quitter. Remember that, my friends. You guys get to be here. You guys get to be a part of a new kind of a history for us. Who's excited about that? Who in here is excited to get a million dollar ring? Who in here is more excited to create the new story with you? With you on the stage? That's who we are. Fight! 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 Fight the forces of evil!